What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to another episode. Uh, today, I'm introducing an, a project that I've had for a while, but I haven't spoke about. So let me give you guys some context. Uh, a couple months ago, about a year ago actually, I bought a Nissan NV 20, or 3500 van. Started customizing, having fun with it. And a lot of you guys seem to like that content. It actually did really well. Um, but that van was involved in a collision. It's crashed, it's wrecked, it's gone, it's totaled. Um, I'll put some video clips right here. Watch the clips, understand that everybody was okay. No one was hurt. The van was damaged, the car was damaged, but we're good. Now that you guys seen the crash, here's the replacement. So we got a brand new 21 Sprinter van. It's a little dirty right now, it's been sitting outside for a while, but um, got it in a really nice blue. I'm really happy with that. Since I bought it, I've done a couple things here and there, but nothing crazy. First thing that I did was smoke out the headlights with some PPF. So it just gave it a nice cool look. And then I blacked out the Mercedes emblem. And what else? Nothing else has been done. It's an empty crew van. There is seats in the back, but the plan with this van is to make it the ultimate day camper, go up to the, to the beach, go up to the hills, go up to the mountains, and just have everything you need. It's not gonna be an over the top spur van like you see on, on Instagram where there's like, you know, $150,000 worth of stuff, but this is gonna be a nice functional van that you can take out. And another thing I'm gonna be doing is starting a company where you can actually rent this exact van out. And hopefully it'll scale into having multiple vans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the process. I know here on this channel you see a lot of wrap stuff, but you're also gonna see stuff like this. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be installing the roof rack, the ladder, and I think that's all for today. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to everything else, but we got a bed and we got some other components that are gonna be going into this van to make it what I'm visualizing. But um, I wanna show you guys that entire process. So over the next couple weeks here, you'll see me customizing this Sprinter van here. You'll also find out where you can rent it very soon. So if you ever come to California, you wanna rent out a Sprinter van, something you can actually stay in because it'll be functional to where you can take it out, sleep in it, camp in it, whatever you're gonna do, it's all gonna be there. small part stack of things that we're gonna be using to customize the van today. Again, we're gonna be using the Flatline Vanco uh, roof rack along with step, uh, the ladder for the side. This is the ladder that actually goes around the wheel well. So instead of just going straight down the side, it actually has an arc in the wheel well, which creates a little bit more space because it allows the, the, the ladder to sit right here instead of over here. Which that's something I like because in the long run it's gonna be a little bit more functional for things that we wanna to add to the van in the future. So having that arc in the wheel well uh, ladder is, is exactly what I wanted. So um, we'll be doing solar panel setup on this eventually. We'll be doing a fan up top. We're gonna to be doing a bed setup. We're gonna be doing a full uh, electrical system throughout the van and just making it an overall comfortable camper van. So there's a lot of stuff that's gonna be going into it. The roof rack is kind of like the beginning phase of it for us. Once again, the parts come from Flatline Van Co. I'm gonna tag them right here. If you're gonna be building a van or you're doing a van, check them out. What I liked about what I liked about Flatline was everything was minimalistic. Everything was very lightweight, minimalistic, not too over the top. It's not extra heavy duty, but it's also just good enough to do exactly what we need. You want some lightweight product for this van because you're gonna be loading it down with yourself, your gear, all the stuff we're putting into it. So every time you can save weight. It's important and that's exactly why I went with Flatline because their products are nice and lightweight. They're really well designed and they actually look really good so compared to what else is on the market. I'm gonna open it up and try to figure this out. Here's what we figured out. As you install your roof rack, you're gonna actually bend these in. So this will be your uh, passenger side here. It's gonna sit just like that. 
the roof rail that's factory roof rail is going to be right here and it's six bolts per piece so there's two pieces that go from the front to rear so you're going to have a total of 12 bolts going across on each side here's what it looks like you're going to slide these into the track so the factory track once we get up there you'll understand what i'm talking about those track sliders I was talking about down there you slide these in from the rear one thing that we found out doing some reading online was we are going to also be installing a side ladder so somebody recommended putting additional two sliders in there because you're unable to take them all out just to get that ladder on later so we're going to put in a total of six seven eight we're going to slide them in <laughs> one So what you guys see is we have our two tracks laid out to exactly where they're gonna go. Um, one of the questions that we had, or, or before I get to that, we actually slid in all of the, um, what do we call these, track sliders, track bolts, basically slid these in enough to accommodate the entire um, side panel here. But the question that we had was this plastic piece that my van has. I was worried about maybe needing to remove it, but from what I see, you can actually just keep this here and bolt right into it. So you don't have to actually take this piece out we questioned if we did or did not just to keep it consistent all the way through, but it makes sense. You can actually just bolt right into it. This, this uh, slides right into place and it shouldn't be a problem. So um, let's start with the rear and we'll work our way forward. All right, so we got that side done. Super simple, one thing that I'm doing is I'm just using the tools provided by Flatline. Um, you know, we can come up with a drill and, and torque it down, but it's, I don't think it's really necessary. And again, I think one of the important parts about this product is it's super DIY friendly, includes all the tools you need, and um, you know, we're not having to grab anything out of the toolbox thus far, so. Been super easy, gonna line up these, do the same thing on this side, and uh, we should be good to go and start mounting our cross beams. Once we figured out the layout, that was that, the, lay, the layout was the hard part. Um, but once you figured out, super easy. Two tools, two different types of bolts, and two hands. We got it done in about 30, 45 minutes at the most. Uh, looks really good, it's really solid. Actually, really, really solid. You can shake the whole van with this. Um, so I feel confident making sure you know, we can put anything up here and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Uh, really affordable roof rack compared to everything else on the market. And uh, the quality's there, so I don't see how you can beat it. Flatline Banco, I would definitely take a look at their website. Go over to their website, I'll link it below. That's where I picked it up at. Shipping was really, really quick. I don't have any affiliation with them. I'm just surprised by the product. I think it's a great product. So if you're building a van, check them out. And uh, I told you guys we got an awning mount. We have, we have a mount. We have an awning and an awning mount. That's not going on today. We're gonna take a break. I got another project we're gonna work on. So this is done for the day. We'll keep vlogging throughout the rest of the day, but this is all for the roof rack. I'll get some shots when we pull it outside. That's all. All right guys, it's Monday. So I didn't film a outro for Saturday. So Saturday I was here, I was doing the roof rack install. You guys watched that. Um, but before we get started, before I close this out, let me show you the shop right now. This is what Monday morning looks like for us. So we got the Corvette C8. We got the Supra over there. We have my Supra over here. Another Supra over there. BMW, couple cars on the other side. And it's Supra week. It's always super weak here at Premium. I mean, for some reason, it seems like a lot of these supers are coming to the shop. Thank you guys. If you got a Supra, bring them. They're hard to wrap, but we're getting them done. Um, again, I didn't shoot an outro, but I did want to show you what the shop is looking like right now. Because if you're looking for wrap content, which I know a lot of you guys are, more is coming. That's what we got in here. But let's go outside. And hey, yo, you want to see my rack? Your rack? My rack. Oh, rack. your rack? You want to see my rack? Oh, I want to see them racks. Let me go see if Jack wants to see my rack. Hey Jack! What? You wanna see my rack? Yeah, I wanna see your rack. Oh, this one. Oh. Ooh. Durability test. 
Hey, this bullpen ain't right. Hey, stop it, bro. <laughs> Come on. All right, so in this vlog is a little bit different. Um, working on the van, something I've been wanting to do for a while. I mentioned this in the beginning of the vlog. I did have a Nissan Envy 3500 van that we started to work on a couple months back, and a lot of you guys seemed to be into it. Unfortunately, that van was crashed. Um, everybody was okay, thankfully, but that van is gone. So we replaced it with the Mercedes-Benz 2500 Sprinter van back here. Um, we're gonna be customizing this van on the channel. It'll also be rentable. So. If you guys are in California, looking for a place to stay that's a little unique, you can actually stay in this van. So we're going to make this van a, a camper van slash weekend van. It's going to have all the amenities, all the things you need. Um, so if you're at the drift track or if you want to go to the mountains, if you want to go to the beach, if you're out in California, you can rent this thing pretty soon here. Um, I do have an Instagram for it, premium.vans. going to be a link in here on the screen. Go follow that if you're interested. But this is what it's looking like right now. It's blue. I've smoked the headlights out, painted the grill, put a roof rack on. I think that's all really. Actually, what else? We did some tail light overlays which are going to be available on the website. So these are pre-cut. Those are going to be available on the website. And then also back over here, we have a van. Did those. Typical premium fashion. I just wanted to smoke those out. I think it looks really good on the rear. I don't even want to check. I just really want your best. Something more but nothing less. All this stuff up from the Alright guys, that's the end of this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you drop a comment. Smash the like button. Show your boys some love here. And uh, if you're looking for rap content, more will be coming. If you're looking for more van content, more van content will be coming. If you're looking for skyline content, more will be coming. And also I did give you guys a little sneak peek at a car we just bought for the shop. So lots more content coming with the current vehicles that we own here. So back over to the shop. We gotta get to work. Let's do this. See you guys in the next one. National French Day. I think I should just lay across it. So we check the durability. Or me and you, we can snuggle together if you want. Thank you.